welcome brainers. Recently a lot of iPhone users have been experiencing issues with their TrueCaller app. It fails to display the caller ID details when receiving incoming calls. We've fixed this issue on many devices and have created this video to help more users with similar issues. Sometimes this issue is so stubborn and applicable important points are discussed throughout this video, so it's recommended that you watch without skipping at least once. Without further ado, let's begin. Solution 1. Enable switches in call blocking and identification. Please open the settings app. Scroll down and tap on the phone. From there, select call blocking and identification. Over here you will see multiple TrueCaller lines. Please enable them all. If they are already enabled, please disable and re-enable them back. Solution 2. Allow full notification permissions. Please open the Settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and select TrueCaller from the list of installed apps. Tap on Notifications. Please turn on all switches as needed, as you see on my screen. Solution 3. Manually update the local spam list. Please open the TrueCaller app. Tap on the Protect tab at the bottom of the screen. Click Update now. Select Update manually. It's always good to keep the local spam list up to date. This is because network delays during incoming calls may not allow enough time to retrieve caller ID details from servers. This update may take longer, so please be patient. Solution 4. Enable background app refresh. Please open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on general. Select background app refresh. Ensure it's turned on. Scroll down and find TrueCaller and enable the switch next to it. Solution 5. Do not close the TrueCaller app. According to TrueCaller, the app must be running in the background all the time on your iPhone so that it can detect incoming caller details. If you close the app, then it may not work properly. So please open TrueCaller app on your iPhone and just go to home screen so that TrueCaller keeps running in the background. After all these steps, it's a good idea to restart your iPhone once and check if it started working. Solution 6. Update iOS and TrueCaller. Please open the Settings app. Tap on General. Select Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install to start the update process. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the update. iOS update may take longer, so please be patient. Your device may restart couple of time as part of this update process. Most importantly, you should go to next step, which is TrueCaller updates, only after this OS update process completes. To update TrueCaller, please open the App Store on your iPhone. Tap on your profile picture or initials in the top right corner of the screen. Scroll down and find TrueCaller. Generally, if update is available, you'll see update over here, but sometimes you'll need to select the app to see the update. Specifically, after iOS update, you most probably get TrueCaller update as well. Even if it's not available, check for this bug fix update from TrueCaller on a daily basis until your issue is fixed. Solution 7. Uninstall TrueCaller, restart device and reinstall it back. To uninstall TrueCaller, long press the TrueCaller app icon. Select Remove app from the menu that appears. Tap on Delete app, and then delete again. Please follow these steps to restart your device. To reinstall TrueCaller, please open the App Store. Search and install TrueCaller. Once installed, open the app and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the initial setup. 
Most importantly, please allow the permissions that the Truecaller app is requesting. As you can see, Truecaller in this device started showing the caller ID details for spammers and verified businesses as expected. I hope it works for you as well. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another helpful video.